All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Jurassic Park 3. Now, how does this happen again? How does it happen for a third time? The last movie was pretty valid, but then again, it was just John's negligence who sent people to this Island B to go do more research and Malcolm had to go and save him, okay? It's really just John's fault. Like, it's all John's fault. We're going back to the Island again. If it's because of John, again he needs to go to prison dude he needs to just he needs to be locked up but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two jurassic park movies will also be available on patreon or youtube membership so click the join button down below but anyways let's get started sure you got as close as you can <laughs> i'm gonna get you close my friend but not too close eh? you don't want to be eaten so they know about the island. They know what island this is. Oh my god. What if they just got swooped by a pterodactyl? Spell pterodactyl. No, you forgot the P. <laughs> Hold on. What's happening? Oh, the people in the boat are being killed. Ah. Oh. What happened to them? John really made sure to get every single damn species. They're gonna land on the island and they're gonna be stranded. Then we gotta go get them. But wait, how will we know they're stranded? How could they ever call for help? Like, how are we gonna know to go get them? Actually, Charlie, those are herbivores. They really wouldn't be interested. <gasps> oh, he, he's back. Hell yeah. Uh, and Ellie. We weren't even close. Tell me. Well, we did. Wait a second. So we were right. I mean, they had the ability to vocalize. I'm convinced it's the key to their social intelligence going on. They could talk to each other. To a degree we never imagined. Smart. They were smarter yeah. than dolphins or whales. Damn. They were smarter than primates. Damn. Primates are pretty smart, dude. I mean, once the UN in Costa Rica and everyone decides how to handle that second island, scientists will just go in and look for themselves. Yeah, if they're suicidal. Um, are you saying that you wouldn't want to get onto Isla Sorna and study them if you had the chance? No. No force on earth or heaven could get me on that island. Except John's wallet. <gasps> Wait, you know what I just realized? Okay, so when Grant was giving that speech, it's his voice and cadence sounded so familiar. I just realized it, by the way, he was talking on that scene. Does he play Professor Campbell? I mean, not Professor. Does he play Detective Campbell from Peaky Blinders? Like, they don't, they, they kind of don't really look alike, but they sound very similar. Yep, he was in Peaky Blinders. Damn, I hated Campbell. Well, he was a good character, but like, my mind is blown. It's crazy because it, two very different characters. Like, I really like Grant, and I really don't like Campbell. <laughs> two very different styles in acting. You just take a little bit of a time. I can never tell what's rock and what's bone. Technically, it's all rock, but calcium in the bones is replaced during fossilization. Paleontologist Riz. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> Smooth. Wow. That stuff I'm going to be used later. Prizes. Uh, my card. How you doing, Billy? I have a, a proposition I'd like to discuss with you. We what did John do? Who <laughs> have dinner with my wife and me this evening? It'll be our treat. Oh, what? Do they want him to be the tour guide on the island or something? Like him and his wife want to visit and they want Grant to give him a tour? Served on the first commercial flight to the moon. And uh, for our wedding anniversary this year, we wanted to do something really special. Something, something. Once in a I've chartered an airplane to fly us over Isla Sorna, and we'd mm -hmm. like you to be our guide. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. You're the best. You've seen these animals in the flesh. There's no one who comes close to you. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go back. Interesting part, because we have permission to fly low. How low? No. Well. Uh, from what I understand, it's pretty much uh, it's whatever we want. How low exactly? You mean on the ground? You mean actually like land and get out? And of course, we'd love to make a contribution to your research here. So... 
I could write all kinds of numbers on this check, Dr. Grant. Tell me. 100 mil. And he's gone. <laughs> per okay, if I'm Grant, 100 mil minimum. I mean, okay, in theory, flying in a plane, sure, we're flying low, but like, it's it should still be pretty safe staying in the plane. But of course, what can go wrong will go wrong. And I feel like they probably don't have intention to land, but something in the plane is gonna something in the plane is gonna go wrong, and then they're gonna be forced to land. And so, how do you know the Kirby's? Uh, through our church. Nice. Oh, no, but he's having a nightmare. Alan. Ooh. Oh, Alan. <laughs> the raptor talking was, that was so weird. <laughs> yeah, he's having fucking PTSD. Raptors will do that. You know what I'm kind of surprised about, honestly? I'm kind of, I'm pretty surprised no one's tried to weaponize the raptors, honestly. Like, because imagine imagine you have like 50 raptors right and you're you just set them loose in a war zone like a vlog <laughs> but i mean you can't control them they would just start killing your own people too and like you don't want that but like you don't send any of your own your own soldiers in. you just drop the raptors off in the war zone oh my god and then your soldiers come in afterwards you know that that would be a pretty good strategy whoever you're fighting could defeat the raptors but it would definitely catch them by surprise. <laughs> and they would de they would take out a good amount before they ca they defeat all the raptors. But they'll, de but they'll be vulnerable. Then you can attack with your own soldiers. This is Kirby. Look, out of here you'll see a group of triceratops. Mr. Kirby, we have a landing strip up ahead. You want me to put it down? No, no. no. I told you I'm gonna circle first, see the whole <laughs> island. Yeah, what do you mean first? Explain well, if you, you cannot ship. land on this island. island. Dr. Oh, Brad, no. it's gonna be fine. You just Please, don't Oopsies. I forgot to mention that. Tell me we didn't land. We we just did. Yeah, Kirby had every intention of landing. He just of course he wasn't gonna tell Grant. Tell your wife to stop making that noise. That is a very, very bad idea. Amanda! Shut up! <laughs> Man. The people that were here in the beginning, is that why we came here? Because you're friends with them? Because like why would she come out and immediately just start shouting Ben? Bad idea! That? Probably a T-Rex. Oh my god. I don't think so. Oh. This sounds bigger. Yeah. Oh, bigger? What do you mean? What the fuck? What the fuck could be bigger? Uh, I forget the name, but the herbivore with the long ass neck's bigger, but like it's a herbivore. What carnivore is bigger than a T-Rex? Circle the island. Oh no, since we're taking off in such a rush, something's gonna go wrong. Oh, oh, is this Cooper? Oh, sorry, Cooper. We had to leave you. The dude who punched. Oh, dude who punched Grant. Oh, he's in front of him. Oh, no. That's Cooper! No one can stop this plane. Oh, we're gonna crash into the thing. Oh. We went. Oops. <laughs> Oh, that's great. <gasps> oh, the pilots are dead. Dude, what the f is this? It looks like a T-Rex mixed with a raptor. Like it's as big as a T-Rex, but it has like the, like, but like it has a snout, you know? The arms aren't super short. It's like the same arm length relative to a to a raptor. Like it's dead. <gasps> oh, that's a T Rex. Nobody though. move a muscle. Oh. Wait, what if the other dinosaur starts fighting the? T <gasps> yeah, oh, they're about to fight. Oh hell yeah. Ooh. <laughs> T-Rex just got waxed. <laughs> All right, well that's the dominant species then. <laughs> Shit, think about that T-Rex. 
time you did some explaining, Mr. Kirby. We called everyone. We did everything we could. No one would help us. The Costa Rican government okay. said this is a no-fly zone. Okay. The U.S. Embassy... Uh, to help you find the sauna. That's the real reason. And you never had clearance in the first place. He said we needed someone who'd been on the island before. I've never been on this island. Yeah, not this one. I mean, he's still a dinosaur expert. All right, you Please. stay out of All right, so how long have they been missing? Eight weeks. Almost eight weeks now. He's dead. Dr. Grant, we're not leaving this island without our son. Well, then you can die with him. You probably won't get off this island alive. In theory, that other dinosaur should have enough food now for like a solid week off that T-Rex. Should, should technically leave us alone. Maybe. <laughs> I really like the pace of this movie so far. We waste, we've we wasted no time. And we're 30 minutes in right now. And this is flown by. You look good. So do you. Damn, they're not even together. They, so they, yeah, they really lied. Are they even rich? Do they even have money? He's gonna die. He's helpless. I'm just kidding. To Kirby, tell me, when you climbed K2, did you base camp at 25 or 30,000 feet? Neither, because he didn't climb. Thirty thousand feet. We're he, we're pretty close to the top. Here he's lying. He's thousand capping. feet above it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as Kirby Enterprises, is there? No. It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. Oh. The plus stands for bathroom fixtures. Um, okay. In the West Oklahoma. It's, uh, so I don't suppose that check you wrote us is any good. All right, now no. listen to me. I will pay you the money yes, that I owe you. How'd they afford the PJ then? I mean, yeah, they were just super desperate to find their son again. If we split up. I'm going with you guys. Oh, the parasol. Young adult. That's Ooh, my camera. Oh, they turn it on and it's just, what's up guys? Welcome back to my vlog. <laughs> he's alive. I know he's alive. Yeah, but that was like eight weeks ago. <laughs> we spot a plane, it might be a good way to get attention. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's the other guy, it's not Ben. <gasps> oh, we gotta get the hell out of here. Those, we know what those are. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Raptor. Yeah, raptors, huh? That means the raptors have probably already, have already spotted us. They just haven't made their move yet. We don't know because they don't want us to know. Bet you Eric's mm. in there, don't you think? Good chance. Good chance there's some raptors in there, though. Wait, honestly, if they haven't already, a, com a company should make a video game that's just an open world survival game, but you just gotta avoid the dinosaurs. Like, basically, yeah, just make a Jurassic Park open world. Like, that would be, that would go so hard. Like, make it like DayZ, but instead of zombies, it's just dinosaurs. Some are friendly, some are. Ooh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, did you see that shit? I got like, a buck, I got a buck ten. Got some... Yeah, why would you pay? <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, I mean like, they're trying to make him look all like nerdy and stuff. And Billy, the, the cool guy who just is like, I'm just gonna break it, and then he can't even break it, you know? Who like, won't even think to break it, just... <sighs> Where they created them all. This is how you make dinosaurs? This is how you play God. Ooh. Wait, no, that's a real one. That that's a real one. It's too grown to be in the thing still. <gasps> hey man, it looks really good in this movie. Oh, but you're trapped down there. Yeah, yeah. You're trapped in the corner. It can't get. Well, it could kind of get you still, but like relatively safe. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, no, yeah, this is when you open it. There you go. There you go. Oh, and, and you locked it. Oh, my is trapped now. My God. He's calling. He's calling for help. Yep. Raptors are very smart. But they're not two steps ahead, smart. As soon as you start climbing the doors, weights off the ground, then you just push them back. Oh no. 
and then you lock the door. Thank God it had that specific kind of lock on it too, though. But then it's trapped. But you got out. But like it bought us time to get away. Oh no, he's isolated. Uh, he dead. Yeah. <sighs> He's dead. Mr. Udesky! He's dead. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not. Well, he. Not. No, 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 no wait, wait. Something's not right. Gotta help him. Oh, wait, are the raptors fucking baiting us? <laughs> they're like, go and help, but they like, go up to him. <laughs> <laughs> the raptors really did. They didn't kill him so that we would go up to him. They set a trap. Yeah. They actually set a trap. Holy shit. <laughs> the raptors in this movie are colorful now like they, they had colors in the last movie what the way <laughs> who the has a smoke bomb the raptors they had colors in the last movie but they weren't as vibrant now like you can actually tell like we've seen a red like right there the red one and then a couple blue ones <laughs> oh shit is that eric together that's not good they don't do so well together be surprised what people can do when they a common goal. You're Alan Grant. What are you doing here? Your parents uh tricked me. Invited me along. <laughs> I read both of your books. I like the first one more. Before you're on the island. You liked dinosaurs back then. He gets that a lot probably. This is T Rex P. How'd you get it? You don't wanna know. <laughs> No, I actually kind of do. <laughs> like, how? How? Would you? It's not like you can just stand under him while he pees. It's not like you can come behind him and just pick it up. He pees in like the dirt or something. Unless he peed in a pond. No, that pee's diluted with water, though. Three. The Buick wasn't really totaled. I just said it was because I wanted to get the SUV. He's a little edgy. He's not as blue collar as he seems. <laughs> He's a little risky. You know what this is? Raptor claw. I used to have one. Foster yeah, so you just throw it. Mine is new. How'd you get that? That's my dad's satellite phone. Mm. It's on, oh, there's a fan. Oh, no. Well, it's not like it's on. We just, we just gotta climb over this. It's not like there's 10,000 volts of electricity between them, you know? Oh. Need to find a gap here. Oh, never mind. We can't climb this. The phone, that stupid jingle from the store. I heard it. My phone? Yeah, your satellite. Phone. Where is it? I don't have it. Yeah, he dropped it, right? When the first dinosaur attacked? Plane. I got oh, a yeah, call on the on... plane. And... Yeah, left on the plane. Oh, wait. What? I loaned it to Nash. Yeah. He must have had it when he... He got eaten, so that dinosaur's nearby. It's inside the dinosaur. Oh my! They're just standing there. Okay, there's just a hole right there. All right. Yeah, he he's not getting past this. This fence is. This fence is secure, even though there's no electricity running through it. Like, oh, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> How is this door gonna hold this goddamn dinosaur? That fence couldn't. Alan, you want to give me the bag back? Please give me the bag. Why? Why do you want it so bad? It's not safe. Why? Raptor X. Are you fucking serious? Did you steal Raptor X? What the fuck is wrong with you? Now it all makes sense. Be worth a fortune enough to fund the dig site another ten more years. Oh my god. Look, you have to believe me. This was a stupid decision, but I did yeah. the best intention. Some of the worst things imaginable have been done with the best intentions. Yeah. Just look at Johan. You're no better than the people that built this place. Mm. Dude, I liked Billy. Like, what the hell? Yes. Well, we could we use them to our advantage? 
could bait the Raptors somewhere or something, you know? Because the Raptors are after them. Those things know we have the eggs. Mm. We drop them in the river. They'll still be after us. Then we give them back. Catch us without them. Yeah, that's true. They're smart. They're smart. They'll know we f***ing kill their babies then. I, But I don't think we could just hand them back. Maybe there's like a primal honor code in that and they'll respect it and then leave us alone or something. I doubt it. <laughs> well, we can't go that way. Dude, I don't like how they're walking into the fog. I don't like that. What? Ooh. Oh my god. It's a birdcage. Oh no. Pterodactyls. <gasps> oh my god, that thing is terrifying. Eric! 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 Oh my god. It just swooped Eric. Damn, dude, pterodactyls are huge. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> like, probably someone from the second movie. Billy. Billy. Billy, stop. Billy, stop. Billy. Billy. That was kind of sick, honestly, not gonna lie. That was pretty sick. Oh, he's gonna go save Eric. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was just dipping, no. Okay, okay, Billy's not that bad. He's not that bad. He just made a really dumb decision out of, out of greed. Well, not even greed, just to help his, the dick side out. But like, nonetheless, a very dumb decision, but he's, he's still a good dude. Like, I thought he was leaving to, like, save himself, you know, and the eggs, but, but no, he went to go save Eric. I respect it. <laughs> Dude, how do you even fight a pterodactyl? Their beaks are so long. Oh, no, Billy. <gasps> That's... Uh... That's per Billy, you have to disconnect. You're a perfect kill shot for them right now. Oh no, they're just gonna slowly get him. Oh. oh, the blood, he's dead. Damn, RIP Billy. Damn. Yeah, he's not that bad. Young, that's all. Yeah, you, you were just frustrated with him. The astronomer, the paleontologist, gets to gets to study these amazing things from a place of complete safety. But then you never get to go into space. The difference between imagining and that's all that Billy wanted. <laughs> Okay, we're on, we're on the safe side now. These are the herbivores. Unless that one with the fin comes through, then it's bad. That thing's wiping all of these. Hmm. Oh, wait, why are we stopping them? Let's keep going. That means the dinosaur is right next to us. It was inside the dinosaur. Because he ate that dude. Oh. Before it stops ringing. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's here. I mean, at least you have a river to clean off and you know <sighs> don't put that up to your ear yeah i mean put it put it like right next to your ear but not not on your yeah it's right there. <laughs> stay still don't move wait this one's completely red it's pretty cool oh it has a horn See, it left us alone because we didn't move. Come on, Ellie. Ellie! Hello. 
Put Ellie on the phone. Do it away. This kid's gonna hang up. This kid's just gonna be like. <laughs> it's the it's the dinosaur man. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was a big. Okay. He like for a second he like put the fin. <gasps> oh no! It's the one with the fin. Dude, motherfucker can swim underwater too. This thing's invincible. This thing's too OP. It's too versatile. He did say Site B, like, that, that's all he needed to say. She'll know exactly what he means. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice himself. <laughs> uh, maybe Mr. Kirby can get away still, because that flare will distract, then that flare will distract the dinosaur. Oh yeah, the gasoline! It was leaking! Get fucked! It's not gonna die from this, but... But how is Mr. Kirby gonna get away now? Unless the dinosaur just has to flee. <laughs> He's probably gonna die. <laughs> oh, he's good. He survived. <laughs> He's just right there. Oh. <laughs> you know, at first I was pissed that they tricked Alan into coming here, but like, I like him though. I like the family though. The dad just showed tremendous bravery, so respect. He's kind of nerdy. When it comes down to it, the dad's about it, so. I miss fishing. What do you mean? This is better than fishing. The ocean. Ooh. They're on the X. Otherwise, we'd be dead already. Get down. He's challenging us. She thinks you stole the X. Mm. Get behind me. <laughs> Zig back up. It's like Nala sniffing me in the morning. Call for help. It's an actual helicopter, though. Oh, all right, it worked. Is that helicopter actually there, or is it just background noise? Oh, easily that Velociraptor could just crush that egg by accident because their teeth are so damn sharp. That's a helicopter. Yeah. What, what, what? Dr. Grant? Dr. Alec Grant? Oh, we got the military here, though. They're pulling off like this is fucking doomsday. <laughs> you have to thank her now. She sent the Navy and the Marines. Damn, they got here quick. Oh, <gasps> Billy didn't die. Let's go. They found him. They rescued your hat. Oh, he, and he saved the hat. What the hell is that? Hmm. Oh, okay. Man, look. Turn on. They ain't doing shit to this helicopter. It's a whole new world for them. I dare him to nest in Enid, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, well that was Jurassic Park 3. All right, another solid Jurassic Park movie in the books. This one was really damn good too. <laughs> this one was really good. I, okay, for sure, I don't know why, but the first like 45 minutes of this movie flew by. It really felt like 15 minutes. And so that's a really good sign actually. So that means I was really into it and I was just, I was really immersed. We didn't voluntarily go back to the island. We were tricked by this fake rich couple who they just want Grant to be the tour guide here, but they swindled him and they don't have, they don't actually have that much money and they just wanted to find their son. Valid reason to go back, I guess. I guess. Like, I, I understand the motivation by the family. 
Grant was under the impression he was by just staying in the plane above the ground the entire time, but you know. Mm, what I really liked about this movie was the one, the dinosaur with the fin. I'm not sure what it's called. I don't, that thing's an alpha, okay? That thing just mocked a T-Rex. Let us know right away that they ain't around. <laughs> So wait, where was this dinosaur in the last movie then, in number two? Eh. Okay, for some reason, for the Jurassic Park franchise reminds me of, of the Alien franchise too, right? And I was kind of thinking throughout the movie, okay, how would I rank it compared to this? Because in my opinion, the third Jurassic Park movie holds up really well to the first two still, but the third Alien movie, not not so much, not, not so much. How would I rank Aliens were in Jurassic Park. For some reason, they're pre oh, they're pretty comparable. Like it's humans trying to escape the, these predators, not not the predator movie, but like you know these different species. One's an actual alien and one's a dinosaur. It's like pretty much kind of the same thing. I would say the first Jurassic Park is better than the first Alien movie, but then Aliens is better than the second Jurassic Park movie, and then the third Jurassic Park movie is better than the third Alien movie. I don't know why I'm comparing them. Like, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but like, I just it just reminded me of it. Alien 3, I remember watching and I was like, oh, this movie, the, yeah. Yeah, this um, this does not hold up at all compared to the first two. But Jurassic Park 3 holds up very well, very well to the first two. I kind I kind of like the the third one a bit better than the second one to be honest. Like low key, I kind of do. Like it's just them evading the dinosaurs the entire time, but I kind of like that better than a full squad coming in to take the dinosaurs back to the mainland. I don't know. I just found this one more interesting. I think it's because I like Grant, the character Grant, a lot. You know, I do like him more than Jeff Goldblum's character, so that's pro that probably is why. I still like Malcolm. Don't get me wrong. I still like him, but I just like I just happen to like Grant more. The second one's still really good though, but I kind of enjoyed the third one a bit more. And I have no idea what the general consensus is, like how they would rank the first three Jurassic Park movies. But that was Jurassic Park 3. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and let me know where would you rank this movie in the trilogy so far. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.